Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in for another magic review because that's what I do here. I review magic tricks, I review playing cards, and I do giveaways. Doing a giveaway this Friday. That's right. Doing a giveaway this Friday. You don't want to miss it because this box is going to be filled with the latest magic tricks and playing cards. A $200 value box. I want to give it to you for back to school. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit all those notification bells. You don't want to miss it. What are we doing today? Today we're looking at the modern Z Wallet Pro from Patrick Kuhn and Quiver Wallet creator Kevin Chow. All right, so what is the modern Z Wallet Pro? It's a Z Wallet. Z Wallet uh, for some of you. Uh, it is a Himber wallet. This is what magicians have been calling it since the beginning. It's a Himber. It's a way of showing the contents of a wallet, closing the wallet, and then reopening it, and then the contents have changed. Now, the contents could have changed visually, and the spectator notices and says, oh my goodness, what happened? Or the contents could be changed secretively. In other words, you could have a card back in there. The wallet closes, reopens. The spectator still sees the card back, but what they don't realize is you've changed the card. So it's a card transformation device or a uh, device that swaps item for item. Typically, they're done in a Z formation. What uh, Kevin Chow and Patrick Kuhn have done is they've made a modernized version of this that not only locks so that it doesn't swing open by accident, but it also looks like a wallet that you'd actually carry in your pocket. And we're not just gonna talk about the modern Z Wallet Pro, we're actually gonna talk about the rainbow card or the phantom card from Higar as well. All right, so let's say you pay your $45 to patrickkuhn.com. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get a little uh, brown envelope. Inside the envelope, you're gonna get the wallet. Uh, the wallet is self-contained. Okay, there's no extra parts. There's nothing to add or take away. Self-contained wallet. And you're going to get the download code to the video. Now, the video is broken up into three different parts. You're going to have a section that's just the modern Z wallet. Okay, You're going to get the full video for the Quiver wallet. And if you order the rainbow gimmick, of course, you'll get the video for that as well. Is it what I thought? Well, yeah, it's what I thought. I mean, if you watch the trailer, you see what it looks like, right? And if you already have a working knowledge of Himber wallets, or if you've ever owned a Z wallet before, then you know how that aspect works. I think the surprise is the quality of what you're getting. Is it well made? It is beautiful. This is a beautiful wallet. Like I said at the top of this, you would be proud to have this in your pocket. This looks like a wallet you would actually buy in a store that you would carry in your pocket. It doesn't look like a magician's prop. And I think that's, that's the... That's the negative side of buying magic wallets sometimes. They just don't look like wallets that exist in the real world. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, for the modern Z wallet video, you got Patrick talking to a stationary camera. He is well mic'd, well lit. There's no background music. The entire video is about 24 minutes long. As far as what he's gonna teach you, he's gonna go over the wallet as an overview. He'll show you the open prediction performance and explanation. He'll then show you the out to lunch ideas. That's right. There's an out to lunch feature built into this as well. So not only do you get a Himber wallet, you also get out to lunch. You get two elements. Then he's going to show you how to use the rainbow gimmick. You're going to get a live performance that uh, Patrick did on a TV show. Then you'll get the explanation for it. Then you'll learn a bill transposition. And again, you'll get performance and explanation. And of course, that's what it sounds like. You know, you, you have uh, a bill switch places. And then he's got some final thoughts. In the Quiver video, this one's 13 minutes long. You're going to get some ideas, all kinds of application ideas, like uh, torn and restored business cards, using it as a bill switch, using it for serial predictions, using it for angle zero, and so much more. Pocket space. Pocket space, this is very thin. Very thin. In fact, it's so thin that I think this could be your second magic wallet. Like, I'm serious. Like, you could carry, like, your big, bulkier magic wallet in your back pocket, and then you could keep uh, the modern Z Wallet Pro in your front pocket as your business card wallet, right? And so, 
I think it's a great way to combine wallets together. I want to show you how big it is, right? It's very thin. Here it is compared to my other wallets. So here it is next to my Razor wallet, standing up and lying down. Here it is with my Viper wallet, standing up and lying down. And here it is with my Wiser wallet, standing up and lying down. How are the angles on this? The angles are fantastic. And I've, I've had cheap, inferior uh, Z wallets before where either the back half of it will swing open if you're not holding it closed, right? Uh, or where the back half is just bulky. And so from a profile angle, it doesn't look like a real wallet. Like it looks like you've opened the top, but the spectator can see like, oh, there's a, there's a bottom to that wallet. The design on this is revolutionary. The design on this is that the flap doesn't actually go all the way to the edge, but that it blends in with the background. So really, both sides look identical. You really can't tell one side from the other, especially when you're holding it and the wallet is open. So all the typical edges and flashing that you get from a regular Z wallet, you don't get with this. Can it be inspected? All right, so here's something that I didn't really fully understand when I got it out of the box. When I got it out of the box, it was another part that was just um, a piece. Let's, it was a black card. We'll just call it a black card. And I really didn't know what it was. And um, I watched the explanations through and I, didn't, I still didn't know what it was. So I kind of left it out of the wallet. I left it out because I didn't know what it was. But um, when you watch the video through, they talk about the wallet being uh, locking on one side, right? It locks on one side so that if you handed it to the spectator in the, the way you'd want them to, the side would open that you wanted them to and the other side wouldn't because it was locked and i thought well that's a great way to make the z wallet examinable like you could hand the wallet out and have them hold it and you know it's it locks on one side but not the other with the piece that i didn't put in which i later found out by talking to patrick um, to add it allows the wallet to lock on both sides so going back to our question can it be inspected i would leave that up to you if you choose to have the wallet locked on both sides, I will say that opening it doesn't feel natural because you feel the pull of the locking mechanism, right? So if you choose to leave one side unlocked, then I would say yes, you could hand it out and the spectator could open it easily. How much practice does it require? None. I mean, this is not difficult at all. Not difficult at all, easy, beginner level magic, but I think professionals, will appreciate it too because of its style and grace. How much setup and reset is there? I mean, it's just loading whatever you're gonna load, right? That's all it is. And, and you know, you can do it with card tricks or credit card tricks. Um, I'm gonna combine it with Patrick Redford's photographic deck and use it with my Rubik's Cube cards or my Statue of Liberty cards. Use it with ESP cards. Positives, I've been saying the positives, right? It's a beautiful, stylish, wallet, well-made wallet, you'd be proud to carry, looks like a wallet you'd actually carry. Negatives, I got zip, I got zip. Um, in fact, when I got this in the mail, I immediately went to my stack of wallets and said, all right, this one's gone. <laughs> I, mean, I, threw, I, I actually had a stack of Z wallets that I used for different things, and I think I just swept them all into a box and said, this one is the one I'm gonna use, and those, gone. Is it worth your money? It's 45 bucks. Absolutely. Absolutely worth your money. $45. It's gorgeous. It's not even, it's not even 50 bucks, right? Usually magic wallet, leather, you'd expect to pay more. So who would like this? People that like wallets, people that want a Z wallet that works, that looks real, um, that you'll get lots of ideas for. Um, other review channels, don't just watch mine, right? Don't just watch my channel. I'm never going to boast that I'm the best magic reviewer on the web. I'll never say that, right? You should watch all the other guys. There's guys and gals out there. They're all working hard. They're all giving you good reviews. You should be watching all of them so that you make good choices. Um, Kevin Rylick actually reviewed this. Uh, I think when it first came out, he did a, like a little teaser uh, promo for it. He, and you, he gave his thoughts. Go watch that. I mean, Kevin Rylick works for Penguin Magic, so he knows what he's talking about. Definitely go watch his review as well. All right, so can we talk about the rainbow card for a second? I mean, it's also been called the phantom card. So it's called rainbow on Patrick Kuhn's website. So I'm just kind of putting that out there. Justin Flom performed this on TV. You might've seen that. Um, it's a way of showing the wallet empty 
and it doesn't have to be this wallet, um, but it's a card that just looks black, which is why it works great, I think, in a wallet, because then the spectator doesn't even see the card, they just see nothing. I think that works better. Instead of having a card, like a mystery card, just floating in an ID badge, um, which I think calls attention to it, and maybe people might think, well, something's tricky with that card then. I think it's best to have in a wallet where you just say, hey, this, it's empty. There's no angle restrictions, none. You could even give the camera to a spectator and uh, you could kind of make them do the trick. They'll see, they'll get the reaction, they'll know what the picture's gonna look like because they'll see it happen. But, uh, and they can kind of be in on it. But yeah, the spectator could do it. Their friend could take the picture with their camera and the two of them could walk back and talk about how exciting that was. The gimmick is $25 at patrickcoon.com, 25 bucks, and you get three different options. You can get this with a full card as a nine of diamonds, or you could do it with a corner card. You know, so you take the card and you tear the corner off and the corner vanishes, but then the corner could reappear in the wallet, right? So there's a couple uh, corner card options at patrickcoon.com as well. All right, that's everything I can say about the modern e-wallet and the rainbow card. Both are available right now at patrickcoon.com. I want to thank Patrick Coon for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, like I said, head on down to patrickcoon.com. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.